welcome back to the channel. Now before starting any picture, I find it's a good idea to plan the piece out thoroughly. With this picture I just want to offset it slightly to the left hand side because I feel this creates a slightly better composition. And it is surprising how just by doing this it can make a difference to the overall look of a picture. I'm going to be working on a piece of Arches Aquarelle hot press paper and this is going to be attached to a 10mm thick piece of MDF. This will give me a nice smooth surface to work on and also because of the size of the picture the board needs to be quite thick to keep it quite rigid. So with the paper attached I can now take it over to the easel and start work on laying the picture out. Working on the size the piece needs to be and how to position it on the piece of paper. So two things I'm going to use to help me to create this are a tape measure and a straight edge. I'm going to start by taking a few measurements. I mainly want to position the step correctly because I'm going to use this as a main reference point to help build the rest of the picture up from. I'll also take a measurement for the end of the tail as well as the tip of the paw. Once I've got these in, I can then take the straight edge and draw in the line for the step. With this done I can then concentrate on the main drawing and as you can see I only want to start with a basic outline and from there it can be refined. Marks for key points are sketched in before construction lines are then added and again as usual to do this I'm using a blunt H pencil. I can then work back over these to help create the basic shape of the picture. At this stage I'm only really concentrating on the basic shape as well as the proportions. Construction lines can now be removed with a kneadable eraser as well as any alterations that need to be made. With any picture it is always worth spending the time to make sure that the initial drawing is accurate. You can also use a pencil to help gauge a rough measurement. Just by holding it against the reference and then using this to transfer to the drawing. Now like I said this does give you a rough measurement but it can help. So once I'm happy with the basic outline as well as the position of things like the eyes and the nose I can then start to work on some of the finer details of the drawing. To add the detail is basically the same principle as what I've done with the rest of the drawing but this time it's just on a much smaller scale. The drawing constantly evolves with more bits being added as well as alterations still being made. Again this will give me a relatively angular drawing but I can then work back over the top to refine it, smoothing out lines and adding in some of the finer details. Now as you can see from the picture behind me I have added in a considerable amount of detail at this stage and normally what I would suggest if you're a beginner is to try and keep things as simple as possible as it will make it much easier. You can always add details as you go through the picture. You can see here I'm just working over the original jagged drawing lines to smooth them out. And once I've done this I can then tidy it up further by using the kneadable eraser. All I do with a kneadable eraser is simply just roll a point on the end of it and then that way I can just go back into the drawing and literally draw out the individual parts of the picture that I want to remove. So I'm pretty happy with how the picture is looking now and the only other thing really for me to do at this stage is to remove the original construction line that I put in for the step. I will still continue to make subtle changes to the drawing as the picture develops and next time I can start to work on applying the shading which will really start to give the picture some depth and shape. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.